Right, I'm Bruce Cook, just uh, making a video um, showing a couple of things I just got. Um, one is uh, I'm going to be doing some shooting today. I just got uh, a couple hundred rounds of GI 5 Star uh, paintballs from uh, ANS Gear. Just a uh, test, just see how consistent my marker will, uh, will work with these things. Um, it's going to be a couple hundred of these. And then I'm going to be finishing off with. Uh, um, this uh, GI Sports field paint. Paint. Uh, I'm gonna be having to switch uh, barrel inserts for this since uh, it's um, kind of uh, old, older paint. But um, one is I recently got a uh, uh, one of the N charge batteries for my Spire Four. So if you've seen in other videos, I just got this, but uh, just got a uh, N charge battery. So I don't have to deal with the issues of uh, those Energizer rechargeable double A's. They weren't lasting very long before the uh, reload indicator wasn't working properly. But uh, we're going to just chronograph a few shots. Um, I'm only working with uh, just about a thousand PSI in my tank right now. So, but this marker is pretty air efficient. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, uh, it's I'd say... But well, close to a thousand. So we'll see how many shots we can get off. But uh, I just got a, a caddy from ANS gear. I needed one of these. So I got one of these things. I do have a bunch of paintballs in there. We got a uh, 687 uh, uh, barrel insert uh, in this AccuLock kit. But first thing we'll do is uh, we'll test we'll test off this uh, GI 5 star paint. So yeah, bear with me for a second. I can not fill this up and do this without spilling everything. Uh, this loader is supposed to be able to hold 220, so we'll see if we can fit in uh, at least all 200 of these uh, GI 5 stars. I've only taken uh, a few paintballs out of one of the bags just to uh, barrel size it, and then I put the paintballs back in. So. This is going to be uh, 200 rounds. So, let me see how full this thing So, well, the loader claims uh, 220. These were 200 uh, uh, rounds from ANS gear, so that's about a full fill. Uh, I wouldn't say this thing would uh, fit exactly 220. But, we got this on uh, PSP 10 a second. First, we'll uh, chronograph real quick. This will be the first shot after airing it up. 278. 293. 282. 292. 289. I probably should have fired this gun a few times before I did this, but 288. Do one more. 292. I'm going to get a couple more. 285 so not too bad so we'll just start by shooting up at that tree up there try to get myself in the shot without blocking it so we'll fire in a few different targets pretty accurate I think it's pretty accurate I'm not sure maybe I'll shoot one off into the distance Maybe. Oh, I hope I didn't hit that bird. I'll show the kick. Let's see if you can see this. That is pretty darn accurate. It's hardly nothing for recoil on this thing. Alright, I'm going to stop. And uh, I'm going to change out the barrel inserts real quick. Because uh, this other paint is uh, older paint. I'm not taking any chances of uh, making a mess in my marker. So I'm just going to throw the 695 insert in there. So, and then we'll see how, let's see how many shots this marker goes before it starts shooting down too much. So as you see, it was 200 rounds from the uh, five-star paint. 
and this is a full pod. I've counted these things before in these pods that they hold about 130. So not quite 140, but no, we'll see what happens. That's still pretty accurate for old paint. see how much farther we can go so I should have put it in the pie but this is about another 200 the loader was almost empty that's uh, 200 rounds plus 130 round pod so uh that's what like 330 rounds plus maybe another 20 30 shots so we'll just say 350 shots not bad out of uh, around 950 psi tank fill i mean i got spot on zero so but there you go so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video